It is my great pleasure to announce that the 2023 Heisman Trophy winner is Jaden Daniels from Louisiana State University. Congratulations. This, uh, before we hear from you, this is yours. Give it a test drive. 25 pounds. You got it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, this is a dream come true. I want to first give thanks to God, you know, for all the glory. He's my rock, my savior. Um, he blessed me with the talents and ability to get here, all the special people here to develop these skills. To Bo, Mike, and Marvin, you guys are amazing. I enjoy watching y'all, but the competition is never over. I look forward to seeing you guys on Sundays. I'd like to start to thank with a few thank, thank yous. I learned from previous winners, the first lesson is becoming a great quarterback. You got to thank your old line first. Thank you guys for getting me here today in one piece. I know it wasn't easy. You know, I scramble around a lot, but you know, I love you guys. <laughs> I have so many coaches to thank. My high school coach, Nick Rogers, he is here. Um, thank you for believing a 14-year-old freshman uh, to start on varsity. I, I probably weighed 140 pounds. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate you. Taylor Kelly, thank you for helping me elevate my game, taking me to the new heights and the next level. I want to thank Herm Edwards, Marv Lewis, and Antonio Pierce. Thank you for your leadership and welcoming me when I was at ASU, and thank you for giving me the keys to the program. <sighs> to Coach Kelly, Coach Frank, Coach Denbrock, and Coach Sloan, and the rest of LSU football staff, thank you for trusting in me to lead your team. I learned so much from you guys. You took a kid from the West Coast and brought me back down to the bayou. I, I'm forever thankful. I want to thank to every single LSU fan for having my back. I never seen fans pouring their hearts into a team like LSU. I really wish I could have brought you back another championship, but that was my plan. But you know, God has other plans for me. So wow. <laughs> I want to thank all my teammates from Arizona State to LSU. Uh, you're my brothers. You work so hard every day and inspire me to be my best. Uh, the truth is I will truly miss all you guys. Uh, having future NFL players on my team make my job look easy. Um, you know, my receivers always say this, you know, they're always, they're like Waffle House, they're always open. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to acknowledge all the unsung heroes of this game. Trainers, the nutritionists, uh, equipment managers, groundkeeper, janitors, you know, security, everybody. Um, basically, everyone who works behind the scenes to make sure our sport is the greatest on earth. I know it's sometimes a thankless job, so I want to say thank you. But then, finally, I'd like to turn to my family. <laughs> Dad, you know, you, you put a football in my hands when I was young. Um, I know you raised me to be a corner, but hopefully now <laughs> the decision to play quarterback is <laughs> paid off. You taught me how to play, lead, and be calm no matter the situation. And I know I wouldn't be on the stage if it wasn't for you, so thank you. I love you. Mm -hmm. My rock. <laughs> My mama. <laughs> you were so nervous when, when I was playing my first high school game, you know, that you couldn't even watch my first high school touch. Now you closed your eyes. Um, but after that, you never took your eyes off the field. You always had my best interest at heart from day one, and you showed me that tough love when I needed it. You instilled in me the hard work mentality that got me here, and you always, you always told me to keep my eyes on the pride. You encouraged me to always bet on myself because you always believed in me no matter what. I graduate in three years because that's something that you pushed me to do. Um, and here and now, I'm on this stage, and I, I love you, Mom. Thank you.
I want to shout out um, one more person, Sherman Wilson. He, he's in the stand somewhere. Thank you for everything you've done for me, bro. Um, you know, pushing me no matter what. You might be annoying, but you know, I love you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Being a college athlete and winning this award has been a dream come true. I want to dedicate this award to every boy and girl who has a dream. Uh, with faith and hard work, you never know what's possible. They said I was too skinny, so I added weight. They said I relied on my legs a little bit too much. So, you know, I, I went to work, you know, completed all those passes, you know, had the season I had. So I thank everybody out there. And they said I was too quiet. So, you know, I, I became more vocal. I stepped out of my comfort zone, and now I'm here today. Um, so what did I learn from all this? I learned how to block out the noise, that you could overcome any obstacle, and just be humble, be legendary, and most importantly, you know, be joyful about what you do. And when you get knocked down, get back up, keep smiling, and never give up on your dreams. I want to end a special thank you to Greg Brooks Jr. and his family. You gave me inspiration to continue on this journey of greatness and keep fighting. Thank you. Jaden, these guys, they, they know what that surreal feeling is like. So get to know them. Congratulations right. once again. That's a powerful message. To Marty Smith with some details on the voting. Thank you, Thank you Chris. I just met with our great friends at Deloitte. Let's take a look at the final numbers. Jaden Daniels receives 503 first place votes. And my friends, this is the closest Heisman vote since 2018. Jaden Daniels on 90% of the total ballots on which the top four were named. And the winner of the Heisman fan vote presented by Nissan is Michael Penix Jr. Congratulations to all. Enjoy. Chris. Thank you. Marty, thank you. As Jaden continues to meet his fellow Heisman winners, we wish all four of these Heisman finalists great success in the future. We'll be fans of all of you on Sundays, and there's still some more work to do.